Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. In this video, my group member and I will be presenting our group project. Our project is about the use of nanotechnology in the textile industry, or what we can refer to as nanotextile. First of all, I will introduce to you my group member. First, Kualong Kiat, Yasei Walid, Tanzin Yi, me, Alia Natasha, and Nuru Aina. Textile is defined as cloth or woven fabric that is made by weaving together thread or some material. Example of textile can be things like cloth, garment, furniture cover, curtain, carpet, rug, and many more. The prefix nano refer to a very small size. Nanometer is one billion of a meter. To bring it closer to your imagination, the human hair, which is very thin, is eighty thousand nanometers wide. So, when we say nanotextile, we are talking about textile that are designed and made with attention to extremely small detail. So, you might be wondering, why would we want to make a textile that is designed on such a precise level? So, the answer to that is because of the properties that we can achieve by going through such process. For normal textile, people in the textile industry usually choose the fiber materials such as cotton, wool, and silk or synthetic materials such as nylon and polyester. Each material will give the textile some properties. The properties can be things like warm, smoothness, softness, durability, and breathability. However, using nanomaterial in the making of textile take a textile properties to a whole new level. The properties achieved by nanotextile are more advanced and unique compared to normal textile. In addition to an increased durability, nanotextile can have features such as water and dirt repellency, fire retardancy, and UV protection. Nanotextile can also have properties like being antibacterial and having an efficient moisture absorption. Lately, there has been a growing interest in ingraining electronic circuit in textile. Micro sensor and micro actuator can be ingrained in textile making them smart textile. In the medical field, it is very important to be in a bacteria-free environment to prevent infection. They will be needed for making the cloth for doctor, surgeon, and nurse and they also can be used for bed sheets for clinics and hospital in general garment with heart rate and temperature sensor and green inside them can be useful for monitoring health condition in the world of athlete it is a very nice feature to have odorless clothing this can be achieved by nano textile since they can be both antibacterial and moist absorbing. So, the odor can be trapped and eliminated. This characteristic will also prevent athlete's foot, which is a common skin infection that can be grow when wearing them socks. The features of nanotextiles can be very crucial for people doing risky duties such as firefighters and soldiers. Firefighters need enhanced suits. They are both bulletproof and heat insulating to stay protected from the danger of fire. The same feature will be needed for soldiers together with body armors or bulletproof vest. Soldiers may also need textiles with advanced features like improved camouflage and being embedded with microsensors. Nanotextiles product can be very useful for public customers too. Products like bags, clothes, bed sheets, and coach covers will be better when they are hydrophobic. If curtains and rocks 
and other pieces of furniture were made using fire retardant textiles. Then in case of fire, these textiles will not catch fire easily. So they will not increase its severity. Another benefit is wearing shirts that protect from UV light will reduce the risk of skin injury that may result from UV exposure. However, nanotextiles is not commonly applied in public yet. The reason why we cannot see nanotextiles that commonly until now is probably due to the high cost of production. But another reason we do not see nanotextiles product is that there is limited research made on the side effects of nanomaterial and there are doubts and concerns regarding the effects of this technology and the environment and our health. By wearing these nanotextiles, a lot of nanoparticles may end up in the skin layers of the body with continuous contact. The effects of these particles are still questionable. The other concern is the effect of silver and titanium dioxide particles that get washed away and flushed to the ocean. This may harm aquatic organisms and damage the ecological balance. At last, it can be said that nanotechnology has brought higher potential to the textile industry. It improves the quality of the fabrics as well as the quality of the manufacturing process in the textile industry. However, so far nanotextiles are not commonly used and is mainly used for specific fields such as firefighting and military use. Further investigation needs to be done on the effects of nanomaterial on our health and on the environment. When nanotextiles become more commercialized, they will become more affordable. But before that can happen, people need to be sure it's completely safe. After that, we can all enjoy the many benefits of nanotextiles. And that's all for our group. Hope you enjoy the presentation and thanks for listening.